Hi everyone, it's Master Young here. I wanted to do a quick little video to tell you guys all about our startup process for testing in November. So one of the things that I need everybody to realize is that testing is coming up. We are just about a month away and I want you guys to plan ahead for these dates. We do not do makeup testing here, so we would need to make sure that everybody plans ahead accordingly to, to make sure their student can test. Now, if you look at this flyer that I've presented for you, you're gonna get this flyer emailed to you so you can follow along with me as we go. Uh, first of all, Testing for November 7th will be ages six to nine. That is the core skills class, the five o'clock on Tuesday, Thursday, uh, and six o'clock Wednesday, Friday class, the ages 10 to 14, and then the teens and adults. On November 14th, we will hold the mini ninjas and the third red black belt test. Please note that all the times for the testings will be decided once we see the total number of people in the groups. So we don't put out testings early, but we try to say that kids are usually in the morning times and adults in the afternoon. And for mini ninjas uh, and black belt testing, that'll always happen after our normal classes. So you can kind of plan for those times as we go. Some of the requirements, one of the things to point out is in requirements we say, growth and readiness before they are recommended for testing. That's what we look for when they are doing their stuff in classes. You'll notice that the required attendance is listed there, but I want you guys to know that sometimes students are just not quite ready to go to this testing this time. And so we will give you that opportunity to move them to the next test and get them going in a different uh, time at level so that they can build their confidence and build their skill sets. If you are a white belt and you have been here less than eight weeks as of the testing date, which should be November 7th, then you will automatically move into the next test um, in February. So one of the things to point out is when you register for testing, you're always gonna use the app, but I did include a little link here. If you do wanna use that link um, to register via computer, you totally can. Um, you just need to make sure you register no later than October 28th at 8 p.m. I will have registration up on the app as early as next week. One big thing that parents need to make sure they do is they need to know that the rank they're testing for is being put into the app registration properly. So take a look at your student's belt, look and see how it matches up for their age group and their rank and make sure you use that particular rank. So if they're a brown belt, plain brown belt, it would be one brown. If their brown belt had a black stripe on it, it would be two brown. And if their brown belt had a white stripe on it, it would be three brown. Mini ninjas are a little bit different. We use the words instead of the numbers, but I want you to make sure you look at these sheets and use them uh, to reference your belt. There's nothing worse than being on a Thursday or Friday, the day before testing and trying to figure out that a parent had listed the belt incorrectly and we ordered the wrong belt. So we don't want to have to charge a rush order for that um, if we do that at the last second. Now, the second sheet is going to show you how to prepare for your test. And I think this is really important that you look at this with your student and you use these resources. There are two things that you use for knowing what you need for testing. You have goals, which are character and martial arts skill based. And then you have your rank material, which is your katas and your one steps. So I want you to look at both. I provided links to both. You can click on those and use them as tools. But when you click on those, it'll tell you exactly what you're going to need. Number two, there are resources right on the app for you. If you just go to the app home screen, look at resources and find at home training breakdowns, you'll find everything they need, including blocks, kicks, katas, one steps, all the way up through blue. Now, if you are green belt through red belt, I do not put your material on the app. The reason is, is I don't like lower ranks going and trying to learn upper stuff without being in the classes that provide them the safety guidelines. So if you're green belt through red belt, please email me at info at karatemv.com. I have no problem emailing you those links back. Now, the best resource that we provided has been the practice test for your belt. If you go on the app under resources and you find practice testing or mini ninja practice testing, it'll take you through an actual test format where you get to practice all of the material from start to end. And again, that'll help you get ready. The more times you run that test for your rank, the more prepared you will be when you get to the test itself. And the last thing, and probably the most important of all, is make sure you're getting to class. Right now, things like holidays and parties and activities are getting uh, in the way of getting ready for your test. 
plan around those activities. Make sure you're getting to the classes that they need to get ready for this. It's a very important day for them and we want them to be fully prepared. So know, your, know the stuff that you need, use the app for your resources and get to class. Those are the best ways to get ready for testing in November. Now, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm always happy to help and I wanna see your student get there. Sometimes they just need to wait and that is okay as well. But if they are ready, I please want you guys to, to get on the app and register once it comes up as an event. And then you can, can plan for your testings according to the dates ahead. So if you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, have a great weekend.